My father gave me seven acres of land to start Pine Cove in 1963. People ask me, how in the world did you move out in faith to leave a job to think you could start a, a camp? And my answer to that is, uh, how could I not do it? This is something God put on my heart to do, so I had to do it. And I wanted to focus on the ministries that I saw camps doing to reach kids and reach families. And that's, uh, that's where I wanted the focus to be. As I was walking across this bridge for the first time, I sensed the Lord tell me, I'm going to make this a showplace for my glory. We focus on scripture, we listen to the Lord speaking through scripture, we watch uh, what God is teaching us and continue to apply that to the direction of Pine Cove, not veering off to the right or the left from what God says in scripture as we follow his lead. And so I, I look at that as one of the, the real hallmarks of Bill McKenzie's leadership. I used to sit on this swing quite often, dreaming about starting Pine Cove. Because of Bill and his family and their obedience to the Lord, Pine Cove has been able to flourish and grow from just one camp property in the 1960s to now 10 different physical camps with plans underway for two more in the next few years. All of this due to Bill McKenzie's listening to the voice of God and then taking faith-filled steps to follow him. It wasn't me, the Lord did it. I mean, he used me to do it. And I don't want to minimize that because I don't want people to think all you have to do is just decide you want it done and, and uh, you know, get out and sit on the hill and pray. That's not going to work. Bill McKenzie's leadership, his passion as a man has transferred over to our passion as a ministry. I think it is so essential to the body of Christ to have Christian camping uh, that he would have done it. I was not an indispensable person in, in God's plan. We are always looking not just for uh, how to do well what we're doing, which we want to do, but also go, how can we continue to be stretched? How can God continue to use Pine Cove in the future, in an expanded role in the lives of people, whether it's here in Texas, whether it's going out to South Carolina or literally helping reach the whole world with the message of Jesus. And so I think Bill's vision has been contagious. C.T. Studd said, there's just one life, only what's done for Christ will last. And I've thought about that, and I thought, what else can I do that's more important than living for Christ? And I've just come to the conclusion, there isn't anything.